how many of you believe that social networking causes more harm than it do good for the youth in today's generation? So, quite a few. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is true. It does cause, cause more harm than good for the youth. And here are some facts to prove this. But first, before I start talking about that, I just want to say that um, I have an observation that I noticed that um, children are like learning how to work phones and iPads and computers at a younger age rather than playing with toys. And I think that starts like from them playing with the phones and learning how to work them on their own at a younger age. It causes them to want to be on social media more because they know how to work everything. So I think if not blaming the mothers or anything, but I think that if children start to play with toys or play with other children, then they won't be so drawn into social media or social networking. Okay, so there are many social networks that the youth can enjoy in today's society. The networks include Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and more. Um, and they all have one thing in common, and that is cyberbullying. Um, anybody can do it, especially on the internet. Um, in today's society, children are already being bullied at, at school. So when they get home, they think that they're safe. But just when they think about getting on social media to communicate with friends or whatever they choose to do, um, they may get harmful messages or threats sent through them um, by people that they may not know just because through social media, you can communicate with just about anybody. So, yeah. Then um, it also allows them to send these harmful threats and words anonymously. So they won't know who's doing it. And now in today's society, children don't tell their parents what's going on in their lives. So they don't know that people may be bullying them on the internet. They just keep it to themselves. And it's allowing people to get away with it. Um, cyberbullying can cause lowering self-esteem, um, increasing depression, producing feelings of powerlessness, and many other things. Um, cyberbullying can also ca cause suicide. And I'm going to give you a list of symptoms and signs that show someone is depressed and they feel that suicide is an option. Um, they may talk or joke about committing suicide on social media or read even with friends or family. Um, they may like write poems or stories about death, typically about dying and committing suicide. Um, they also may talk about ways of killing themselves using weapons or medications that don't belong to them or that wasn't prescribed to them. Um, they also become more isolated from family and friends, so they tend not to want to be around anybody but themselves. Um, in school, their grades begin to drop and they lose interest in learning. Um, they have trouble sleeping at night and they have frequent nightmares. They also have like a change in eating habits and they tend to either gain more weight or they lose extremely a lot of weight. Um, I'm going to show you guys a story of a girl named Emma and she's going to explain her experience of cyber. time I probably heard the term cyberbullying, I was in probably the end of sixth grade. I understood that it was just people being really mean to each other online or over the phone or text messaging. I don't think I thought that it could happen really. It was kind of like an in another world kind of thing. I had a best friend and she, um, we got into this really big fight and then she was saying really mean things to me on Facebook and on, <coughs> over text messages and on the phone. The main thing that I remember that she said was that I was a horrible person and, and that she didn't understand why anyone else would ever want to be my friend. That like really hurt me and like cut me really deep. Um, and I like will never forget that. She would write something public on somebody's Facebook and it was just something really mean like, oh, I hate her. Everyone knew that we were best friends, but then we were in a fight. So everyone knew it was about me and it was really embarrassing. There was nothing that I could do. And I didn't want to write something like that about her because I knew it wasn't right. I wouldn't want to tell my mom, but then it got really bad and I just knew that I needed my mom to help me. So I told my mom and then she helped me. I 
I think dealing with the cyberbullying situation is really hard to just deal with it by yourself. Talk to your parents and your close friends and try and get them to help you because the longer that you don't stand up for yourself, the longer the cyberbullying will go on. Thank you. 